we would use the term that we remove recognition as a student group. This action was taken、um, in concert with the national office. That's Dr. Linda Clement, vice president for the Office of Student Affairs. She tells Terp Weekly Edition that the fraternity will lose its formal recognition at the university, but that's not the only thing they'll lose. Current members of this chapter will need to find a new home somewhere off campus. They've been notified that they will have to seek housing elsewhere. We will actually, at the end of March, be closing the house. It's believed the investigation may have been prompted by questionable photos that surfaced on a popular computer file sharing program used by students at the university. Tarp Weekly Edition has exclusively obtained copies of six photos portraying individuals wearing shirts that read "Delt" on the front and engaging in what appears to be hazing-related activities. One photo clearly shows a group of men drinking some beer. Two photos appear to have male individuals lined up in a row, half naked and blindfolded. One of these pictures show individuals lying down on their stomach on a messy floor. Another photo presents three pledges semi-clothed, each biting on an unidentifiable piece of large object believed to be large pig feet. When asked if any criminal charges will be filed, Clement says there could be. We haven't fully determined that yet,、um, but there, there's no judicial action that you take against a group、um, like this. So any judicial actions would be with individuals. Clement says the university takes hazing extremely seriously. Especially in light of a recent student's death at Maryland that was related to hazing. We know how how reckless and egregious it can be. In this particular case,、um, we believe that putting people in, in mental or physical stress is a, a kind of hazing, and so we believe anything involving drinking,、um, underage underage drinking, particularly with a group who are seeking to join a fraternity, is a kind of hazing, and so those are all. Kinds of things we're talking about. Clement calls hazing an affront to human dignity. Terp Weekly Edition did try to talk with members of the fraternity, but they declined to speak with us. Terp Weekly Edition also called the national headquarters for Delta Tall Delta, but they did not return our calls. Terp Weekly Edition will continue to keep you updated on developments in this story.